Okay, right, today I purchased this new Alpine IVA W502R and we are going to show you the quickest and easiest way to be able to watch the movies on the go without by bypassing the handbrake switch which I've been looking on YouTube as you're probably looking at now at all sorts of people's responses and quite frankly they, some of them want you to buy gadgets and relays and switches so today I'm going to show you that you need none of that for this model so first of all I'm going to turn it around show you the back of the model right you'll notice we've got this indoors so we have a battery on the floor this is just a bench test just to we wanted to see how it performs here in the house and not right this is your yellow and blue wire which is your, your handbrake this is connected to your handbrake so when you get into the car we've cut it cut it short it's normally you know it's very long but we've cut it today to short to show you our quickest way of connecting it right what i've done some people said you have to ground this to earth on the chassis and that's the same as being connected to your handbrake only problem is some people say once you connect it you then have to cut it and you have switches and relays none of that is necessary which we're going to show you now so first we'll, we will connect it uh, I done a clip on it because I just like the idea of it being permanent there we have the nice job two inches of wire connected to your chassis okay so today we have the wiring loom as I said we have it indoors we have the yellow wire and the red wire the red wire is the ACC which is to your ignition turn the ignition on and your stereo is on we have that wire permanent at the moment so I shall turn it on turn it around and turn the stereo on and here we go okay there's a disc in there already and it should take off from where it was last sourced okay so as you can see the picture is on. What I'm going to do while you're watching that is I'm going to unscrew that connection from the back and hence disconnecting the earth from the chassis. You'll, you'll see on the screen now it will say, what does it say there, picture off for your safety. Now if you notice if I connect this back to the chassis picture comes on okay pictures take it off pictures off right so what i want to do now also is what i've been told by others is if you connect this to the chassis full on and it is on what i've been told now is if you turn your ignition off and leave the car and then come back to it this earth this fix won't work but i'm proved to you today that it does work and there is nothing else you need to do other than just, just connect that so i'm going to disconnect the red wire which is will be exactly the same as turning your ignition off so that's your ignition turned off the whole system is shut down now the only wire that's connected is your yellow to your battery your ignition when this is connected to your car will be ready for turn ignition on this will be connected so i'm now going to connect this which will act as turn ignition on now if if we go by some of the videos i've watched this wire won't work and the picture won't come on but 
as you you'll see that when I connect this together which is exactly the same as turning the ignition back on again I haven't altered this wire at the back the picture should come and display the, display the movie and there we have it movie displayed so I don't know what some problems some people have with some units but with the Alpine unit there is no there is nothing to do but to bypass the switch by simply cut the cable and screw it into the chassis either do it by clip or twist the wire around the screw and screw it in tight job done there is nothing else to do that is your job done hope that was some help for you but you know we all go looking for help with each other so over and out